They say Russia invaded Ukraine. They say Russia is the aggressor. But working here in the Lugansk Republic for weeks, we found many things that tell a different story. One discovery was made at a former base of the notorious IDAR battalion. It appeared in 2014 as an armed volunteer group that fought on Kiev's side but slowly fell out of its control. Too many weapons, money and impunity did their job. Now it's part of Ukraine's ground forces, though its roots have a sinister foreign influence. This is what was found, among other things, here at the IDAR battalion base. A very interesting piece of literature titled Tutorial for Participants of Russian-Ukrainian War. It was published in 2021. Ukraine's defense ministry is among publishers, but here we see something more interesting. National Endowment for Democracy, America's non-governmental organization, allegedly affiliated with CIA. It actually says that it was republished last year, so apparently there was previous version of this book. There are multiple chilling facts about this statement from last year. If the title Russian-Ukrainian War refers to the eight-year bombing of Donbas, it chooses to ignore that the conflict was not Russian-Ukrainian, but Ukrainian-Ukrainian, with the east of the country being shelled by its own government in Kiev. And if the title hints at knowledge of an upcoming war with Russia, which would conventionally break out a year later in February 2022, this raises even more disturbing questions about Washington's role in fomenting the current conflict. Then there is the central role played in it by the infamous CIA offshoot, the National Endowment for Democracy, or NED. Instead of having just the CIA going around behind the scenes and trying to manipulate the process secretly by inserting money here and instructions there and so forth. They have now a sidekick, which is this National Endowment for Democracy. A lot of what we do today was done covertly 25 years ago by the CIA. We should not have to do this kind of work covertly. It would be terrible for democratic groups around the world to be seen as subsidized by the CIA. We saw that in the 60s, and that's why it has been discontinued. We have not had the capability of doing this, and that's why the endowment was created. It seems that whenever the CIA couldn't but wanted to manipulate the process, the NED has been there to help for the last four decades. What finally drew public attention to Ned's meddling in foreign elections was an aborted attempt to provide opposition candidate Violeta Chamorro with $3 million in funding for her 1989 election campaign against Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega. In 1988, for example, the endowment